novel, a tale of a most unusual Christmas, one which I referred to at the time as a ghostly little book. It concerns the life of a man known as Ebenezer Scrooge, a most unpleasant chap, a bloody awful best suit, I dare say. Mr. Scrooge was a man of business with a heart carved from stone. One would think ice rather than blood must surely run through his veins. But I must note, Scrooge's life would undergo a most unique and transforming experience on this long ago winter's night. Our story begins on Christmas Eve, precisely on the seventh anniversary of the passing of Scrooge's partner in business, Jacob Marley. Allow me to point out, it is of greatest import that you clearly understand that Marley was dead, dead as a doornail. For you see, dear friends, no good, no joy, no hope can bring benefit from this story without this knowledge. I invite you now to step into the pages of my imagination. Welcome to the city of London, 1843. Welcome to A Christmas Carol. Well, well, well. Too loud. 